I never thought I gotta be able to generate cracked and shattered 3D text here in Firefly. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's start in Illustrator, select the type tool and type in something. From here, all you need to do is right click on the text, create outlines and right click again on group. And now I'm gonna select the letters one by one and start rearranging them. Select all the letters. And let's go and select the knife tool. If you don't have it, you can go here to the three dots, click on them, and here you're gonna find the knife tool. And now all you need to do is just cross this text a couple of times. Now you can see it's gonna make it a little bit more wavy, but you also can press and hold Alt, and this way you're gonna create like straight lines. So I'm gonna start cutting them in pieces. Now after you cut them, right click on group, and here you're gonna need to select these shapes one by one and just slide them, and you also can rotate them. So this is how the final result looks like. I'm gonna select all, also I'm gonna recolor them to some lighter gray. And from here, we're gonna to go to the 3D materials, select extrude, I'm gonna decrease the depth, but I'm also gonna increase the whole composition. There it is. From here, let's scroll down. Here we got the X, Y, Z, I'm gonna decrease them to zero, zero, and zero. Let's go to the perspective, I'm gonna add some around 50 and now I'm gonna select them one by one and I'm gonna rotate it from the circle and just rearrange them in 3D as much as possible. Now of course this is gonna take a while, so take your time. You can see this piece doesn't have shading, you can go here to the lighting and go to the rotation and this way you can customize, you know, the shading. After you're finished, make sure to save it as a JPEG. And then let's go to Adobe Firefly, go to Aspect Ratio, I'm gonna change it to Square, Content Type Photo, and let's upload the reference image, click on Upload Image, and I'm gonna select the 3D Cracked image, click on Open, Continue, increase the strength to 100, scroll down and select Hyper Realistic, go to Lighting, change it to Studio Light, and we're gonna go to the prompt and type in text made of concrete isolated on black concrete background. And let's click on try prompt. And as you can see now we got some interesting results. Not all of them are looking good. I mean it's not that bad but it still needs some improvements. And I'm gonna need to emphasize those cracks and I'm gonna go here to the text made of concrete and I'm gonna add covered in fragments. This should make the image more detailed, click on generate. And I think now we got some better results, especially this one. So we got like more cracks, more fragmentation here and there. So we're gonna need to find an image that's pretty decent. So I'm gonna go and generate some more. Let's see, we got some results and I think this one is pretty good. So I'm gonna go here, click on edit and click on use a style reference. And now I'm gonna go scroll down and I'm gonna decrease the visual intensity and strength to zero and let's see what we're gonna get on zero. Now on zero settings, it's pretty unclear so far, so I'm gonna go to the strength, increase it to 50, visual intensity, I also gonna increase it, and let's try it out, and we might get some better results. All right, so these are the results, you can get here and there pretty nice and successful results. Not all of them are great, so you're gonna need to find the one that is working for you. So keep on generating and adjust the slider to find the best results. And check this out, these are the settings which generated me these results, which are actually pretty good. So keep on exploring, experimenting, and see you on the next one.